We know many of you may be waking up right now wondering what your commute to work will be like, and that is why we have Morgan Thomas out to talk more about this. Yeah, that's right. Morgan joins us now, and she is near the I-220 ramp with the latest this morning. Morgan, good morning to you. Tell us what you're seeing out there. Yes, good morning, Leslie and Dan. We are near one of the um, uh, worst on ramps as far as it, cl it closes down as soon as there's any kind of uh, real threat of icy conditions right onto I-220 here from North Market. Right now, all clear. Drivers are safe to go up and onto I-220, onto the bridge over, over Cross Lake or into Bossier City. But uh, that can all change in an instant if there are real pro uh, become real problems on the road. We spoke with Su Susan Stafford with the D Department of Transportation transportation and development yesterday to see how they make that decision to close things down. And, and we are monitoring those roadways uh, and weather conditions through our scouts as well as through the through the weather networks. And then we also rely on the local law enforcement and state police to help us monitor those roadways as well. All right, now we're actually, as we were listening to that sound bite, getting some sleet outside right now, just a few droplets here and there. But uh, so really, like we said, this can change in a minute. So all drivers need to be very careful out there. Here's some tips when you get on the road this morning. Watch for black ice. It's a thin layer of ice that can build up on bridges and overpasses. Drive slowly, drive carefully, pay attention to the road. And the main thing is giving yourself plenty of space between your car and the car in front of you in case somebody has has to stop. You don't want to be sliding on that ice. Um, and in any weather um, problems, conditions, uh, give yourself plenty of time to get to your destination, either if that's work or school. Um, and again, we are seeing some droplets of moisture coming down as we speak. Um, I don't know how, how long that's going to last or if that's going to be a problem, but we're definitely going to keep an eye on it for you. Back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thank you so much, Morgan. And like she said, we will be keeping our eyes on this. We'll have more information on our Facebook